How you doing guys? Today I was attempting to load the 1056 on my trailer to take it over to my buddy's meet and greet tomorrow, but we ran into an issue. The basic issue is the carburetor got, from sitting here I guess, got completely gummed up, um, not from bad gas. Uh, I'll tell you exactly how it all happened. Um, I went to go start the tractor up today, just wouldn't start. Wouldn't even fire, just crank, cranking, 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 cranking. Um, it is a little cold, so I had the choke on. I took the choke off. I put the throttle down. Uh, nothing. Just a lot of thumping and bumping, but no no fire, no fire, real firing of the, of the cylinder. So I took the tin off, pulled the plug. Plug was soaked with fuel. So I cleaned that up, put it back in, tried to start it. Wouldn't start. Pulled the plug again, soaked with fuel. So I'm thinking, well, either it's carburetor problem or an ignition problem. So I put the spark plug in the, in the plug wire and just laid it up against the head, turned the key, and I had spark. The spark plug was firing. So I'm like, all right, so we can rule out the ignition system. I pulled the air cleaner off, and, of course, there's fuel in the air horn of the carburetor. So I'm like, son of a... So I cleaned the bowl. There was some debris in there, obviously coming from the fuel tank. How? I have no idea. Seeing that I cleaned the fuel tank, I have an inline fuel filter, and there's the electric fuel pump. But there's debris in the bowl of the carburetor. Clean that out, clean the needle, put it back in. And the needle had a little bit of garbage on it, so I cleaned the needle, put it all back together, and I could get it to run with the choke off, but at full throttle, it wasn't even close to idle. I mean, it was just chugging and banging and black smoke coming out of the out of the exhaust. I'm like, what the, f and boy, anyways, so I stopped that, pulled the plug, of course it's soaked. You know, I didn't have the air cleaner on it and I could see fuel just sitting in the bottom of the carburetor in the in the throat. So I knew that I was having an issue, so, what I did was I pulled the carburetor off, and what I found was some debris in the actual float seat. I have it soaking right here in some lacquer thinner. And I'm like, what is this stuff? It can't be the fuel. I'm using true fuel. I'm using brand new 92, no ethanol fuel. I just put it in it, and I was just like, ugh, nightmare. But here's, the, here's what I figured out. I've used this stuff a thousand times. I've never had a problem. If you look on this fitting here, there's some brown stuff here and here and there. Looks like diarrhea. All right. What that is, is this stuff. And I'll show you here over here. Uh, let's lean this up against my bookshelf here at Grand National. So we don't, I don't even know why I keep that thing. I, I got to get the, get that thing the hell out of here. Well, anyways, there it is. Permatex Aviation Formagastic Liquid number 80019, which, if you read the directions, is good for fuel. Now, I have used this stuff a million times in the past. It, the little mule has it on the fittings. Well, anyways, I put it on just to seal up those, you know, compression threads, so that way you don't have to really crank the hell out of them. But somehow, some way, that stuff is breaking down and causing, oops, sorry, causing a clog. Maybe I, I, maybe I put too much on. I, I, I'm, I, I pro obviously I did. I mean, there's no question. I obviously put too much of this stuff on the fittings because I said to myself, all right, so let's clean the fittings because on the needle in the seat of the float, it looked as if some of that stuff was on there. And it was. That's what triggered this whole situation. But if I look inside my fuel pump, I'm going to try to get this thing to focus. Come on. Yeah. There you go. There's a ring of shit in there. And that's that damn sealer. So what that's happening is that sealer is breaking loose, going through the fuel system, because it's being pu pushed by the, the fuel pump. The fuel pump makes ridiculous pressure, obviously. Well, not ridiculous pressure, but for you know, three PSI uncorked, it's a pretty good stream of fuel. <laughs> but, you know, 
So it's pushing it through. It's not making it past the seat, okay? And it's gumming it up. And the float is staying open the whole time and flooding the motor. And it's like gumming it up. So I am removing all of the sealer from the fittings and the carburetor. I think I'm going to go to Home Depot. That's where I got these fittings. And I'm not even going to screw around with them. I'm just going to throw those away and get some new fittings. I got to get the ring of shit out of the fuel pump. I'm going to do that now. Oh, and, I, and it was, I found it a little bit at the base of my fuel pressure gauge. Oh, come on, it's focus right there. But I was able to clean that. that and I know the gauge works. The, you know, the gauge was working fine. So it's not in the gauge. So there it is, guys. Oof, what a nightmare. I was really hoping to bring this tractor tomorrow, but it ain't happening. So... That underneath that blue tarp out the window. That's the little mule. It's uh, it's under the tarp. It's getting ready. It'll be it'll be at the uh, meet and greet tomorrow. I was having issues with that thing too today. Unbelievable. It was an awful day. <laughs> well, not really awful. There's people that have like real problems. This is not a real problem. But all right. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. As I always try to be, I try to be as truthful and open and honest. I'm not a uh, super duper mechanic. So these things happen. It just sucks that it happened today. I guess it's actually, you know, it's a blessing in disguise when we think about it. Because if this had happened tomorrow morning when I'm at the meet and greet, that would have been really sucky. This is just sucky. I hope you guys are having a great day. Hope you're having fun. Uh, keep working on your tractors if you like tractors. And I will talk to you soon. All right, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll talk to you. Bye.